lifelong resident of Santa County, um, and I have been a teacher in the high school for about 35 years. As a member of this community, I would first like to express my appreciation to our legislators. These people are friends and neighbors we elected to spend long hours making difficult decisions. They strive to balance our tax income with the expenditures necessary to fund programs, provide employment, grow our economy, and care for our citizens and taxpayers. It's not an easy job in this rural county which has no strong industrial base. However, in the past 20 years, our community has experienced incredible growth as a result of our tourism industry. While I'm surely not alone in grumbling through a summer traffic jam, I recognize the benefits of the many visitors and I'm delighted that they're here to share the beauty and the wines of Seneca Lake. In order to continue to expand our best industry, tourism, we must be vigilant in defending our natural resources and especially Seneca Lake. I believe that the legislators who voted to support Crestwood's request for a resolution in favor of the increased use of salt caverns for LPG storage have made a serious mistake in leadership and I call on them to reverse that resolution. The production of salt has long been a staple in our economy. Hard-working men and women who are my classmates, former students, and friends are naturally concerned about Crestwood's threat to close the U.S. salt facility if they do not receive the support of our legislature. We all care about the jobs at U.S. salt. At the very first LPG community information meeting, I was dismayed to hear officials of energy which predated Crestwood admit that they had no interest in producing salt. They simply wanted the empty caverns. I fear that they are not to be trusted to protect the salt industry and the jobs of the salt workers. When a young boy in that first meeting asked about stocking those brine ponds for fishing, an energy official assured him that no one could eat anything from those ponds. And yet, we have been assured that there's no danger of these brine ponds damaging Seneca Lake. Is this a risk you're willing to take? Crestwood officials assure us that 20 years of LPG storage in the South Caverns have been without incident. A guarantee that expanded storage offers no greater risk to our community. Really. In the late 90s, I was teaching, along with several of my colleagues here in the high school, during two seismic events preceded by loud cracking and crashing sounds. The building shook, the ground moved, yet there was no earthquake in the region. For me, these were watershed moments. I remember exactly where I was and the fear I felt as I realized that our village was sitting on a honeycomb substrate of salt caverns. There have been documented collapses in some of these caverns. Do we really want them to be filled with highly explosive liquid propane gas? No. Finally, I call on our legislators to adopt an attitude of community and inclusion. They claim to represent a silent majority within our county, but somehow they fail to recognize those who speak out as legitimate residents with legitimate voices. Seneca Lake is not ours. It's a gift enjoyed by residents from many counties, towns, and cities as well as the visitors who enjoy it. All the other municipalities bordering Seneca Lake have adopted resolutions in opposition to increased LPG storage. They too should have a voice in this decision that could potentially damage the water supply for 100,000 people. Please call on your legislature to reverse this decision immediately and truly represent the people. Jeepers, creepers. Okay, I got a little note. The climate marchers of the Great Climate March has Seneca Lake's own Faith Meckley with them. Faith just called as she is walking with the climate marchers across the country. They will be walking 14 and a half miles today from Gibbon, Nebraska to Wood River, Nebraska. 
She wanted us to know that every step is being dedicated to the rally at the Glen and the brave people who are fighting to save Seneca Lake. Thank you, Faith, and all the climate marchers. Steve Churchill. He, he needs no uh, 